Hello, welcome back to the channel. Uh, and today I'm going to be taking you through what's wrong with this one. It's a 2007 Nissan Micra 1.5 DCI. And the fault we had was uh, a P0089 fault, uh, rail pressure regulation. And the vehicle wouldn't start basically without a bit of, uh, bit of brake cleaner or a bit of easy start. So, obviously, the first thing we did was a fault code scan, and it brought up the uh, the rail pressure fault. There was a couple of others that were there, but we cleared them down, and then obviously try to start it again, see which fault code keeps returning, and it was the the P double O eight nine. So there's a number of things that can cause that. Uh, worst case is going to be the the high pressure fuel pump, and um, but in this case. First thing I did was uh, an injector leak off test. Now each injector should leak back a specific amount of diesel. Uh, now I don't know what that amount is for this this vehicle. Uh, one thing that was clear once we had obviously got the tester all hooked up, started the car, cylinder three, or should we say cylinder two on this one, second one from the flywheel side of the engine was leaking back a hell of a lot more than the rest. Uh, it had filled up the uh, the little 10, 10 centilitre bottle. Um, by the time the other three injectors, diesel had got sort of halfway through the, the foot long bit of tubing. So there was definitely something wrong with that. So obviously it's gonna, gonna be losing pressure through that, that excessive leak, leak back. So, new fuel injector was fitted they do need cord in this sort of 16 digit cord along the top there uh, I always like to check all the other injectors are corded properly because you'd be surprised how many uh, well don't get corded if they've been been fitted I've had it quite a few times to be honest um, so yeah fit that it was about 15 minute job they're not that difficult on these uh, I imagine if it was seized in the head it might have been a different story but this one came out quite nicely um, obviously made sure the, the, the seat where the, the copper washer sits was nice and clean which it was if not you'll probably need to uh, to ream it out resurface it but uh, you can get kits for them for about 20 quid they're not too bad and then yeah new one in Pipes back on, plugged in, corded up, and then yeah, fired up straight away, as I'm hopefully going to demonstrate now. There we are. Perhaps I should have taken a quick video of before, but never mind, that'll do. So that's it for this one. Just a quick video, just to show you the fault I was having. This micro fuel pressure regulation fault. Thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time. Bye.